Today in this video, I'm going to show you like how you can use your cPanel email account into your mobile phone. If you're using cPanel email or cPanel branding email, then you know it's too hard to use their system. They don't have Android application. If you see the cPanel, also they don't have. Also, if you see this email account system, also they don't have. So in this video, I'm going to show you some secrets that I personally follow and also some problems and some solution everything i will show you in this video plus i will show you like how you can create your own branding email if you not understand like what is branding email let me tell you that like if you see support at the google.com support at the youtube.com so how you can create your own personal branding email i will show you everything in this complete video To create your personal branding email, so you just need to log in your cPanel first. So I've already logged in, in there and you just scroll down and here as you can see email option and here like email account. Just click on email account to create a new. So here as you can see, uh, I don't have any kind of branding email now. So let's create a new branding email. To create here as you can see here create option, just click on create. Then you'll see here the domain. And if you click on there, then you'll see your all domain. As you can see, my all domain are showing in here, and all my subdomain also. So if you create your subdomain branding email, then you can select your subdomain. And if you create a main email or sorry, main domain branding email, then you can select okay, so whatever you like. Then here the username. So username means you know support at the rate. Okay, so th these type of things. So let's click on support. Okay, so I just type support or you can type admin, whatever you like. Okay, then type and here as you can see security alternative email address, but I'm not set, I'm not set up, uh, I'm not click on there. Let's click on like set up password now and here the enter password option, enter your password. Let's type in my password, secret password. And here as you can see storage page, how much storage you used to want. Okay, I think. 250 MB is okay good and let's click on create button to create our branding email all right so as you can see uh, successfully create our branding email this email is like admin at rate wpx expat dot store basically wpx expat dot store is my domain name and this is my email now now you're thinking it's working as well or not don't worry i will i will show you the proof like it's working as well or not but to check the email then you just need to click on this like check email option so now as you can see you will see like this type of uh, like this interface but here are some options showing like a uh, setup email on your device but those are not working i personally try but those are not working but i think i was wrong that's why it's not working in try but uh, okay so let's click on open button to open our gmail option like all option to see everything just click on open and here's some another option like uh, manage your inbox like auto responder and uh, email filter forward that's all and later i will create a video about like auto responder like how it's working and how you can set up yourself you know auto responder means uh, suppose you just send uh, an uh, mail in youtube support other youtube like you just send a mail then when you send successfully in a mail then they just reply you thanks for sending mail or thank you something okay so this call is like autoresponder if if someone sent an email in my email then when i get the email automatically he get a reply thank you please what something like this type of mail all right so this is our like our what's called inbox and here the all option inbox drop sent junk trust and archive everything is now here and here also the setting option but uh, let me show you like how this is working uh, let me show you the proof like it's working as well or not to see that i just copy here this email address first and i just go to my gmail here and let's go to click on compose and here i just type like this i just type my email and let's type hi let's go let's hi and click on send button to send this email address sorry send this mail and let's copy my uh, gmail from here you know and let's go to our inbox and let's click on compose and let's type to two where i just want to send the 
where I just want to send. So let's type my email address here. And I just type something, you know. And let's click on send button. Oh, here showing no subject. So that's why. So let's click on hi. Send it. So here, <laughs> my internet connection is too much slow. That's why here showing some error, you know. It's showing like too much slow. And it takes some seconds. That's why. And you know, uh, recently I just sent them. Uh, I just sent a uh, uh, what's called <laughs> mail, and I already received it. And if I go to my Gmail account, as you can see from admin, I also get an uh, email address. Email, okay, email, not email address. <laughs> email. Okay. So I hope, guys, you see like it's working as well. Now the main question and main problem is how I can use uh, this same thing in my mobile phone because you know I cannot carry my laptop or computer everywhere you know I cannot I cannot carry so that's why let me show you the system okay so first you just need to do like you just need to copy the full what is called URL so let's wait for loading so when it's loading down then we'll copy it okay so now if you see this URL this is the URL and let's copy the full URL to copy this you can you can use shortcut first click on the URL then you just press control then a then it will be like selected and then you can copy the like control C or click mouse right button then you see this copy option just copy it and send it into your mobile phone I just send that email like this link here so let's check my mobile phone all right, so as you can see, I successfully get this uh, link here. So let's click on the link and then it will become like the browser and also click on in open it a web like Chrome because I think Chrome is good for, you know. So when I click on the link, then I just get something like this. And now type your email address here. So my email address is admin wp expert dot store and also Let's type my password, what I set up, the reason I set up. So I just set up my password here and let's click on login button uh, because I successfully <laughs> put my password here. So in my mobile phone, that's showing like same thing here. Let's click on open button because I like this round cube. And now, as you can see, uh, now it's looking uh, like this is not looking responsive. And here showing like pop up if you want to save this password. Yes, I just want to save. As you can see, it's now not looking responsive and it's totally broken. So to fix this, you just need to click on here, this icon, and just you just need to find out here desktop side mode. Just click on desktop side, then boom. As you can see, we are got everything now. As you can, if you see now, then you'll see now everything is okay now. Let's click on open again to open this one, and now as you can see, it's looking pretty much good but if you if you want to send any kind of mail you can you can send from here and if you want to check any kind of mail from here you can easily check you can easily check and if you zoom out then you can easily zoom out that thing and it's totally as like same in mobile phone i think this is so much easy but if you go to the you like um, pc then you every time you not get your pc so okay and in mobile phone you can open it anywhere from anywhere so that's why I'm just I'm just showing you that and uh, the big problem you can you can you can send mail but this will be not like in a professional email and uh, if you you just read those email but you cannot send this is the big problem in, in mobile phone that I face and also if you see here like email accounts and then it says connect device then you will see some like uh, some options windows option and then the software but recently i just add my branding email here in this software windows this software but uh, i think this is still not working as you can see it's still not working here <laughs> oh my god i'm not i'm not getting anything else here okay uh okay I, i'm not getting anything else because this is not working as well so that's why and i i think personally like if you are a beginner or you are a startup then 
this is good for you but when you earn money or when you have much money then you can switch on like g suite so if you don't know about like g suite let me search g suite g suite then if you want to use like this g suite then you need to pay around like six dollar per month but if you, if you don't give like six dollar per month like google then you can use like this run cube uh i think this is best for beginners okay so i hope guys you understand and you just get some idea about like this c panel running email and uh, i hope now you can make a decision you can use it or you not use it so if you like this video just click on this like button and if you need heard my channel so please consider and subscribe because i just try to upload some problem fixing video like if i got any kind of problem then i just try to make it a videos like how i just fixed my problem and i just i just share my own opinion with you guys thanks for watching